Hey, it's Jay today and Gwen tomorrow. Join us on our adventures. All right, so let's go on another adventure. I'm gonna take you from the North Shore of Chattanooga uh, to Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. So um, if you guys do like this stuff, please subscribe so that way you can be notified. Um, and you can share the journey with other people of that. So let's get going. We are just now leaving Aretha Frankenstein's. And I gotta figure out how to get out of here. So we're gonna turn around in this person's driveway, so. So, again, the street we're on currently is Tremont Street. Uh, we'll take that down to Fraser Avenue, and then I believe we'll end up jumping on Manufactured Drive somewhere along in there, or Cherokee Drive. I'm not sure. Actually, it's Cherokee Boulevard. So, Fraser Avenue to Cherokee Boulevard. Uh, and then that'll run uh, almost a 27 before I think it turns into manufacturer, but I, I, we'll see when we get there. I'm not, I don't come over on the north side that much, so I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, and I apologize about that because I should be, um, considering I work downtown, but I, I never come over to the north shore. So, uh, but holy cow, these houses that are up here on the ledge, those things, they're huge. I wonder if they're apartments. They have to be apartments. Look at how big they are. They're just so huge. <clears throat> A lot of speed bumps back here. So this is Fraser Avenue. So, I guess we're not going uh, the way I thought. So usually it'd be Cherokee Boulevard to manufacture roads. However, we're going through the tunnel. So we'll be taking uh, Dayton Boulevard uh, over. So that's kind of cool uh, because that'll, like I said, that'll take us uh, to like Red Bank almost uh, through the tunnel. So I'm all for going through tunnels. I like tunnels. be a restaurant five and dime back there the 
that's kind of cool. Like they have hand signal or hand sign language there. Um, that is really neat. I guess I didn't realize that. On the, see how the artwork they put a uh, sign language there. I didn't realize that, and I've driven by here a couple times. So somebody's got bubbles. Where's the bubbles coming from? Must be coming from the there's a tourist shop over here called locals only uh, off to the left that's it's where they have local artists over here on the corner right here on market and Frazier um, they make all kinds of they have all kinds of stuff they sell all kinds of stuff and that's where the bubbles are coming from so uh, very unique store if you're ever down here that's a place that I would recommend going because they have a bunch of the local artists uh, whether if they're making something like moon pies or something that are made here uh, it's really it's really cool so Bros. Oh, look at that. That mural looks cool. Sluggos. That is loud. Imagine it'll be nice and loud in that tunnel, too. Vibrant Mills. So this is now Red Banks over here. So, and then if we would go uh, straight, like, if we go through straight, it's going to take us to Red Bank, and you keep going, and you can end up on uh, 153, which would run you to Hickson, uh, and then to 27. It'd be Hickson to the uh, right, uh, 27 to the left, but the Dayton Pike would run you all the way through Saudi Daisy uh, if you stay on 153 and, and don't get off at the 27 there, Highway 27. We're turning left here. Uh, if we stay straight, we'll go up Signal Mountain, um, and the bottom of Signal Mountains, uh, where Walmart, the biggest Walmart that Chattanooga has, um, and then a bunch of other shopping over here, or you just go up the mountain to Signal Mountain. Uh, however, we're taking the, the 127 here, I'm sorry, the 27 ramp, 
uh, to get on, the, on Highway 27. So... <clears throat> So we're on 27 and it's about 12 miles of Saudi Daisy, so... Today, it's supposed to be pretty nice throughout the day. However, overnight, uh, they're expecting some pretty bad storms. Uh, I don't know how much rain. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get, I didn't hear too much about, I mean, there's gonna be rain, but I don't know how many inches we're expected to get it, uh, to get, uh, but the storms are gonna be pretty bad. So, uh, you get one good day and then it pours and rains the next day, so. But it's only until about eight, I think, after after eight o'clock tomorrow morning it should be nice out um and we'll see what happens because i know we want to go do some filming tomorrow too so um. So it's cloudy out, but you can see like where the sun is is hitting a portion of the mountain. That's so cool. And again, with all the growth up there too right now, so like everything is starting to kind of bloom uh, here in probably the next, I would say at least, well, two months. Uh, everything will be probably green again. Our cars will be yellow, but that's fine because everything is uh, shedding all the pollen and stuff or whatever. So.
actually it's so cool how like I said where it's it's there's a majority that it's cloudy uh, but look where the Sun is hitting like where the, the, the clouds aren't the Sun is breaking through um, and you can see where it's shining on the mountain that's kind of cool shady in some spots Sun in others Get over. Thrasher Pike and then we get off on the next exit which will be Harrison Lane
like there's a camper over here that stopped on the bridge. Like, why are you stopping on the bridge? Like, that's kind of weird. So. Now, he might have got a flat tire or something. Something looks like it might be smoking up on top of the mountain up there. I'm not sure. I think the heck of a place to stop at. Like, that's so weird. Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I want to thank you guys for coming along on the journey with me.